Hi, this is Brett Bumeter from Softwit Media, and today we're going to take a look at a website. We're doing a quick review of LakeNormanWomenSailors.com. This is a great concept idea for a business. Essentially, uh, a number of these are popping up. Businesses that essentially give people experiences that they've never had before. Sometimes they teach or train them. Sometimes they just, you know, it's just show up and you experience it. This is a business where women can come and learn how to sail. There's sailing instructions, all sorts of good stuff. Great experience, you're out on the water, you're learning a new skill, you're with other people. And this is uh, women sailors or women learning how to sail being taught by a woman herself. Again, this is another unique aspect to the business, something that's popping up as well. When people are looking for a specific focus to uh, sometimes uh, their way of life, their, where they're coming from, where they are in life, or in this perspective or situation, a certain perspective, being taught to sail by another woman. So we're going to take a look at the site, partly because the site has some great content, some great information. It's a really interesting business. It's something that should catch people's eye when they're looking for that unique life experience, something to, you know, kind of give them a bit of an epiphany or wake up or wow, this is really cool or something new to do new experience, confidence, you name it. This business should have it all. So what we want to find out is, does that come across with the website? Now, the website, this is the homepage, Lake Norman Women Sailors, good name. Uh, it'll definitely help for location and things like that, and it's probably easy to remember as well. Lake Norman's a large lake just north of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we have a YouTube video here. This video is actually more of a picture slideshow with the voiceover. The voiceover script is excellent. There's a lot of good pictures in here, although the quality of the pictures needs to be a little bit improved. I'm not gonna play through the whole video as I record this screencast uh, for copyright reasons, but let me suggest that one of the things that I would first do with this site is take the pictures that are used in this slideshow and use those as a guideline to go out and cr capture some actual video it might be a little bit of b-roll at times it might be some of the uh, the people that are coming for classes or for the experience it might be some video of the actual participants but when you're out on the water when you're in the sun cloudy day you name it uh, wind blowing moving through the water it's going to be very photogenic it's going to be something that's going to really come across in video and people's smiles when you get on the water and these situations just kind of naturally light up you know, your, the tension goes out of your face and everything. So everybody that's going to be in a video like this or captured on a little bit of video, they're going to be extra photogenic just because they're relaxed, they're happy, they're engaged, they're interested, they're not texting or, or looking bored on the side or anything like that. Great opportunity to get some good video, and that will make this intro video that much more captivating. You could probably use the same voiceover all over again, although I think there's some potential to beef that up as well in a few different ways. We'll come back to that more in more detailed uh, consulting if, if that's desired. But uh, as we look through this homepage, a couple things I want to point out. This homepage, right now I'm recording this on a laptop. It's a MacBook Pro. And I'm not looking at this right now on an iPad or on an iPhone. On mobile devices, on iPhones, on smartphones in general, the site will display, you can read it, it's not broken or anything like that, but it doesn't come across in a way that is designed to engage people on a mobile device. And more and more these days, especially for a business like this, where someone's looking for a new experience, they're usually hearing about it while they're on their phone, usually through Facebook or through personal connection, or they look it up real quick from their phone. And so a person's first experience with this particular site is gonna come on their smartphone. So it's very, very important that this particular site get rethemed, get a new WordPress theme, one that's designed to be mobile responsive. Keywords there. We don't want to necessarily program this just for, uh, just for mobile. We want it to work well, respond well uh, in any medium that it might be uh, viewed on. So one of the very first things that this site needs is a mobile responsive theme. And that will fix and improve uh, and kind of help realize the potential of the site in many different ways. And some of the critiques I'm going to point out uh, will be easily solved once that new theme is uh, chosen and then set up. I would also point out that up here as I'm hovering over the logo, 
this is, if I click this, it takes us back to the home page. Uh, you know, a few years ago, that would have been perfect, just what it needed to do. These days, though, this call today number, the 704-577-0600, this should be text, and it should be clickable such that when someone is on their smartphone, they can just tap it with their finger, and it'll automatically bring up uh, the dial uh, uh, program to dial the phone and call the number. That needs to be at the top and it needs to be clickable at the bottom as well. The number does show up here also, and there's an email uh, address, which is fine, uh, but the phone number itself should be clickable, and that's a, a super important thing, especially if somebody's on their way, or they're a little lost, or they need to book. Uh, you want that number to be easily accessible if they're driving their car on their way maybe to an event. Uh, you, you don't want them to have to go type in the number. You wanna make it as easy as possible for the people visiting your site to book with you, and set up a gig and you want to make it as easy as possible for them to contact you when they need to from those mobile devices so that's a key thing now as we scroll down we see a couple other interesting pieces of information there's a free sailing window hanger on the home page I think that's kind of a neat thing but I'm not sure that it needs to be on the home page this is uh, you know a, a nice piece of uh, marketing a nice reminder of the experience but maybe that needs to go somewhere else. We don't necessarily want to give away free sailing hangers to everybody that might visit this on the on the internet. We kind of want to give it to the people that are, you know, that have done this before maybe, or to people that might spread the word around, but we don't want to necessarily be shipping these across the country to people that will never end up uh, at, in Lake Norman in, in North Carolina either. So I think that is taking up real estate essentially on our homepage where we could be sharing some other useful information. And as we come to this home page, uh, essentially, this is our, our main opportunity to convince people that this would be a, a, an interesting experience, a good business to engage in, a trusting business, somebody that you can trust to do business with. And in this case, too, since we're going out on the water and sailing, you know, somebody that we can kind of trust uh, from a safety perspective. I'm not saying that sailing is super dangerous, but there's a little danger involved. And we want to make sure that all those elements of trust sort of come across. And the home page is one of those areas where you want to uh, definitely pull that off. So with many of the mobile responsive themes these days, they tend to be longer and taller. There's more to scroll through. Uh, this goes counter to the conventional wisdom of just a few years ago uh, when people didn't use their mobile phones as much. They didn't like to scroll on a website very much. It was tedious with the mouse. But now with smartphones and iPads and things of that nature, People prefer to scroll. They don't like to necessarily come up here and click in a bunch of different menu buttons because clicking on a menu button, especially on a smartphone, is kind of uh, annoying and difficult and sometimes, depending on the site, might not even be possible. So we want to get more information on this homepage. We want to get information that just brings out the story of this business. Why would this be a good life experience? Why would this be something that's safe to do? Why would it be life-changing maybe? Why would it... Uh, bring confidence or what are all the different values or value points that this business this experience can bring to a person that wants to engage uh, and, and go do this type of thing so the video actually does a great job of that but the video doesn't necessarily uh, it's not presented in a way currently where we are likely to get people to watch this video right now we we have a, a thumbnail image on the video that shows uh, two ladies looking forward just over the edge of a, a sailboat. Um, you know, it's relative, it makes sense, but we don't see their faces, we don't see them smiling, we don't see them enjoying what they're doing, we don't see the entire sailboat. It's, it's evident to me that this is a sailboat, but it could just be another boat to a certain extent uh, to the untrained eye. To a, and so I think there's some opportunities here to change this thumbnail, first and foremost in this video. I'd highly recommend adding a custom thumbnail and maybe even putting a little bit of text in that thumbnail to help encourage people to come hit this play button and actually launch and play the video. Um, the video does tell the story very well, and I would almost take the script, maybe not word for word, but I would use that to set up a number of other slides that re-emphasize that point all throughout the home page uh, with relative sections as it talks about it, because the script does an excellent job of, of really getting this message across. It just needs to be displayed on this home page in addition to the video because even though people are more likely to watch a video than to read we need to sometimes show them and tell them not just once not just twice but at least three times 
and currently on the site, on the home page at least, we're telling them once with the video, but that's only if they hit play. If they don't hit play, we're not telling them a whole lot more uh, uh, than, than uh, or maybe not enough to seal the deal and close, close the sale and, and give someone that experience. Now I'm gonna dig in and, and go through some of the additional pages on the site. There's a lot of great information uh, on this site. And the story is told through many of these pages. As I click into this first page, now we see a, a better image. Uh, this is uh, a great picture. We've got one of the ladies here smiling. We've got another one driving. You know, we can see that uh, they're out on the water. Very good picture in a lot of different ways. It could be a little higher quality. It could be a little bigger. It could take in more of the horizon, different camera angle or a number of different things. But it's, it's pretty good. Uh, if this had been up a few years ago, I would have said that it was excellent. These days, we need a, a large uh, image, something that will expand and show up in the whole screen when possible to really help a person looking at this on an iPhone 6 or the latest uh, Galaxy or on uh, a good high-resolution computer. We want them to really be engaged with a stunning photo um, that helps set up each of these pages that they might click into. We want something that, you know, you know, those take your breath away type of moments that you can experience out on the ocean or those Zen moments, not the ocean, uh, this is a lake, those Zen moments when, the, you know, the sun's setting or rising or there's a little bit of a breeze and the clouds, you know, we've got some good clouds here, but you can't really feel it because we're capped off with this dark uh, image, probably the canvas or something like that on the boat. Not a bad shot, but it has lots of room for improvement. And then we get into a lot of information a lot of text. This is the site in general is very text heavy. It has a lot of relevant and important information that does need to be conveyed, but way too much text. It needs to be broken up into uh, using some infographics and graphic design elements and some buttons and a little bit better organization of the content such that people are given tidbits. Uh, as they're ready to consume them as opposed to giving them, you know, a small book or brochure to read and say, you want to do business with us? Great. Here's a 30 page brochure we'd like you to read before you, you know, make your decision. We want to engage them. We want them to be led through it and, and get them to scroll through some of this. And as they're scrolling and scanning, scanning's a key point there, we want them to be able to scan through and get the general idea relatively quickly. When they need to drill in, we then will you know, we want to give them just enough information so that maybe they can uh, expand or click or find something that gives them the answers that they're looking for. Now, on this particular uh, business, on this particular site, they have some intro level courses, uh, a couple different ways of, of uh, starting and engaging with the business, and then they have some follow on courses as well. Uh, you might consider them prerequisites to uh, some of the you have to take the early classes before you can take some of the longer courses and they have a, a number of specializations as well in general a good bit of work needs to be done to package these off a little bit better so that people can see what they're getting and the order that they might take them in at a glance not just from reading all the text and trying to piece it together they need to be able to get it at a glance and some of this might even need to be broken up into an extra page or two or provided with some other information. Uh, but there's lots of, lots of good information here, lots of, you know, lots of details. I think it would build trust if someone reads it all. But I think that uh, a lot of people may not necessarily read it all unless they've really gotten a powerful recommendation from a friend that's done this. And that may be where the business is coming today. But we want to make it even easier for the people that are casually stumbling across this through different means, whether it's Facebook or Groupon or whatever it might be. So let's take a look at up. Now we have some uh, another page. You'll notice that it doesn't change. We went from what we do to what to expect, and a lot more text. Not as much as the previous page. Same image. Um, that to a certain extent, it makes you wonder: Did I go to a new page or not? I almost wanted to click the button one more time. We need another image here. Uh, you know, another happy image, another uh, you know beautiful background or or setting. Uh, anything and we need to again we need to take this text and reduce it down into some images that help get the information across maybe it's more than one image maybe there's three or four images 
uh, on different slides on this particular page. Maybe they scroll across, or maybe as a person scrolls through the page, they see one screen, and then they scroll down a little bit, and they see another screen, and each of those has a different image. It could shift from left to right, and some of these messages, some of this text, could be in those images or near those images in different ways to help get them the idea before you sail. It could be an image of you know people prepping the boat and getting ready to sail you know at the dock, and what's included, and maybe that's starts to show some of those things or maybe this is listed out in bullet points some of the things that you'll be learning uh, our sailboat that might have some you know that might be a completely separate page with a great big uh, you know high-res image of the sailboat itself and some you know maybe a group of of, uh, of women standing on this on the boat you know waving and smiling or something like that anything to show people engaged but show off that boat you know but sailboats uh, can be a very impressive themselves all by themselves. So give that give that uh, sailboat section its own page to a certain extent. What about the weather? What we've got here is we've got a number of things to consider as we're going through this before you sail. What to expect? That's all good. And then we say, oh, but what about the weather? We kind of end this page on a negative. We don't necessarily want to do that. We do want to answer their questions. So if they have questions, we want to set up an FAQ section. Uh, what about the weather should probably go in an FAQ section. Each page can have their own customized FAQ section or there might, depending on how many FAQs we have, frequently asked questions, there might be just one big overall page that answers all the questions. Uh, so this question could be somewhere in there, but it should be balanced out with two or three other questions. So instead of ending on a negative, giving this equal weight to talking about the sailboat and what's included and before you sail, we need to de-emphasize this just a little bit. We do need to put it there where people can find it get their question answered so that they don't not decide so that they don't decide not to do this because they're worried well if the weather's bad maybe I'll lose my money we want to assure them we want to give them the answers uh, but we don't necessarily want to end on a negative so that's the what to expect and then each of those goes into their own sub pages which is good and we start to get in some of those things I talked about but again this is very text heavy and we need to uh, you know we need to use images here just a little bit more. We may not necessarily need images of the restrooms, but you know we we need to you know set this up with some icons or something to help people understand. You know, uh, there's going to be water and soda and a light lunch. You know, show a picture of lunch. Food's important. You know, light lunch could be anything from you know crackers on an airline to it could be you know something from a local gourmet deli or something like that. Food provided by maybe even a reference back to whomever it is. Uh, that can make a big difference, especially when you're out on the water, you get hungry. And uh, that might be important to the people that are, you know, wondering what they're going to be doing. Medical and first aid, you know, that gets into safety, physical fitness and requirements, again, a little bit as well. I'd probably lump these two into FAQs also. Um, something that I de-emphasize, I wouldn't end on those necessarily. Um, there might be a different way to order this, but I would de-emphasize those a little bit, put them into FAQs at the bottom, uh, you know, maybe make these clickable so that this, hide this text here until they click on the FAQ link and it expands and contracts, it shows itself and hides itself when it's not in use. Same thing for medical and first aid. Uh, and this check-in, it's almost, the way this current theme is, it's almost uh, difficult to find. I would suspect that many people will totally miss this and they might not realize they need to be there 10 minutes prior to the start just because this is at the bottom of the page it's a little hard to see if I don't scroll all the way down it actually hides to a certain extent so they may miss that key piece of information because there's so much more to read and that last important thing was way down there probably should be larger maybe towards the top maybe right down here or before you sail quick reminder could be a thought bubble uh, a number of different things Let's take a look at what's included in the second link. Once again, with this particular theme, we're reusing images. Uh, I'd like that to be broken up into multiple images. What's included? Now, we ha it talks about the Choose the Three Hour Sisterhood Sailing Course or a Nine Hour Learn to Sail Course. Uh, up here at the top, this text probably needs to go away altogether. And these two items, this is one course essentially. And down here we have another, and then we have some information about what I would learn in uh, the second one, but not the first. So there's uh, these 
need a little bit more consistency. So if we're going to talk about what we're going to learn in the nine hour course, we need to talk about that up here. And these should probably be balanced out into columns or some sort of infographic. Again, there's a lot, a whole lot of text here. Uh, some of that's good. Uh, it's good information, but this could be broken up such that people could spot it at a glance and see, you know, uh, the difference, you know, side by side comparisons of the three hour versus the nine hour and what, you know, if, if one might be right for them or, or not. Uh, so we need a little bit more compare and contrast with those items, and that's going to be done primarily with a layout, some additional information, some images would help here as well, and uh, kind of go from there. We've got the Our Boat page. Now, we've got some uh, images here, and, you know, it looks like a beautiful boat. I'm sure it's... Uh, uh, very nice boat, probably far more expensive than I could ever hope to afford myself in the near future. Um, but it's a, you know, it's a great looking kitchen. And this top picture, though, the first picture should be a big picture, a big wide picture of the boat itself. I like this little one over here. It's a little small and distorted. Uh, I'd like to see something bigger like that or the full picture of the entire boat uh, with those ladies enjoying the boat up here at the top, taking up the whole top of the page, and then getting into, you know, uh, some of the other information down below, showing some of these other pictures off later, um, and uh, kind of going from there. There's this is not a bad page, but it could be you know that much more stunning, that much more captivating, that much more to draw you in. And then there's that what about the weather link. Um, this is probably something that this page needs to go away. It just needs to be an FAQ. It needs to be converted. And uh, um, it says check the weather before you sail. Again, that's kind of ending on a negative. Are we? Does this mean that we're putting the onus on a participant, a student, to check the weather before they sail, or you know, do they need to call us, or will we call them and let them know, you know, or will we notify them if something's going to cancel because of whatever the weather might be? This, to me, brings up a lot of potential doubt. And, uh, you know, we want to guide, we want to coach. Uh, to a certain extent, we don't want people to be in doubt and uh, second-guess themselves because, you know, especially if they're brand new to this, they may not know the difference between, you know, dangerous weather on the lake and, you know, weather that's not that big a deal. And that can make all the difference in the world between whether or not show up or they stress about it or they you know they come worrying about the weather and then they show up and they have a, a you know a, a less of a positive experience than they could have because they were stressed about the weather when they started and then that just kind of sets them in motion this whole series of events where everything stresses them out from then on because they've already maxed out their stress level so this needs to be an FAQ needs to be de-emphasized and possibly reworked a little bit to help coach expectations and guide people as they're learning this brand new thing. Let's take a look at the sign up now. Now, up here on the site, when I click on this menu button, nothing actually happens. Um, that's something that needs to be fixed. There, if this is normally be something of a conversion button, you know, get them to do business. Here's where you sign up. But when I click it, and you can't see it real well in this tutorial video, but I'm trying to click it over and over and over again, and nothing's happening. So that means I'm kind of then forced to go to the next menu button that says Sisterhood Sailing. Does that mean I'm signing up for Sisterhood Sailing? I don't know. I can't tell by looking at the menu. When I get here, I don't see the Buy Now button right away. It is there, and it's down here in a PayPal button. Uh, and there are, is a scheduling button as well. This points out a couple different things. One, uh, PayPal is a great way to transact business and to uh, get things done using PayPal buttons for this level of business and this type of experience. You know, we're going out on a high-end uh, sailboat. We're going on a lake. It's not the ocean. A little different level of expectation, but, you know, we're getting professional training and a unique experience uh, on uh, in a section of town that is a, a little more well-to-do than other areas uh, within North Carolina. So there's a certain expectation level that we need to, to meet and I don't think a PayPal button in this type in this situation really does it. We need something a little uh, fancier, more streamlined, uh, to help people convert and check out. We want to instill a level of trust that says you can 
uh, trust us with your money. You can trust us giving us $240 uh, for this particular course. And this is the intro level. So later on, I suspect we'll probably be asking for more money than that. And, uh, you know, it mentions too that there's a 20% savings, but with a PayPal button like this, we can't necessarily see the savings tally up. So as I click stuff, I don't know if it was originally 260 and now we get 20% off or or if it was 240 and the 20% off will come show up later, 20% off at 240, you know, there's a number of questions in my mind as a consumer that I'm not sure what I'm the end price is that I'm going to pay for. We need to be uh, very straightforward about that with our checkout system such that people build up that trust such that eventually they will break out their wallet or their purse in this case maybe and grab that credit card and you know put it on the, put the numbers in and, and continue and PayPal has made a lot of strides but there's a lot of great tools out there that can integrate into a WordPress website to make this so much easier and uh, and so much more uh, trustworthy for the person trying to do some work with it I'd also point out that there are several options here and these don't necessarily translate well into uh, the choose the times here so there's how if I'm choosing a time Monday through Friday Monday through Friday down here how do we get in on the weekend uh, I suspect weekends might actually be one of the most important times to do business because some people are working during the week and if I can't even find that option down here maybe it's not an option right now or maybe it'll come back some other day but this text needs to go away or the checkout system needs to be set up better such that there are three different checkout options and this is all integrated so this information should be integrated into the buttons themselves it shouldn't necessarily be up here and uh, you know there's some things that the technology can solve for us and reduce the amount of text making it easier for people to to do business with us let's take a look at another page so this is the uh, level one course three sheets to the wind now again we've got a lot of text all the same things that I said about the previous page sort of apply here. We've got several different prices. We're asking for even more money, and that just makes it that much more important that a better e-commerce system be set up here. Um, now, in this case, we have intro course level one, three sheets to the wind, and we've got several options for different times. Nothing on the weekend. I think that uh, it might be a business decision one way or another, but uh, I think... Uh, that could be something that could be important. We've got number of people. There's no breaks for bringing in additional people, which is fine. Uh, but there's intro course level two mentioned here and a mother-daughter girlfriend adventure. Now, I think this page doesn't mention those th things, uh, those particular courses, but we should only have this one course here. So if this is all we're going to talk about on this page, this is what we want to close on. We want to close this deal. Uh, if we're going to do the page like this, if we want to have all the options, if we want to have all these different packages displayed on a single page, then we might have it. But when we're just showing this one page, the PayPal button should not have all three items there. So we that needs to be fixed. Again, we need some a big picture across the page or you know something to really engage and show this level one training and maybe even some testimonials from people that have been through the level one. I, you know, this first time I've been on a sailboat. And I learned, you know, we went out, at, uh, you know, we got there at such and such a time. And I was a little skeptical, but when I walked away, it was the best experience of my life. It changed my life. I'm sailing all the time now, whatever the testimonials might say. Um, but we, that will definitely help uh, set this up. More testimonials, the better. Or maybe scroll them through randomly, showing up uh, one testimonial at a time so that people can focus on it. Uh, there's a special bonus uh, with some red bold and some, some other bold. Uh, the thing is, there it says something about $50 per graduate. I'm scanning, and a lot of people will scan, and I, I'm scanning on purpose. This is a little confusing because there's just a lot of text here. I can read it very well, uh, going through one word at a time, but it's very dense and it requires people to slow down. When they first get to a page, they want to figure out if they trust it or if they're in the right spot. So they need to be able to scroll pretty much at a glance, just about that fast, and they should be able to tell from that scroll if this is what they want if they're on the right place. Then if they've got a few questions, they can dig in and you might expect them to actually read a couple of the paragraphs. You might get lucky and they might read about your special, but it shouldn't be buried down here. If there's a special, put it up somewhere separate. Don't put it down too low or something like that. 
and these options they need to be built into the e-commerce system once again take a look at the level two page this particular case not, not a bad image but it's a little uh, distorted it's been uh, the width of it I think isn't uh, has been squeezed in a little bit so the dimensions the width and the height are a little off and that might need a little bit of improvement uh, you know it might have been done just to fit in this particular page but in general we need to have a standard size image on most of these pages I'd recommend something that probably takes up the full width of the screen and uh, you know some really great pictures you could go out and take these with uh, you know a smartphone it doesn't necessarily even have to be a, a great camera these days as long as they get framed well and really uh, get things across there's amazing things that you can do with smartphones these days just in the camera uh, perspective if you've got a better camera or a GoPro or something with a good lens or a wide-angle lens might be important in this particular case because we want to capture people's faces and also the sitting around them uh, that would definitely go a long way to helping these pages significantly all the things I said about the previous pages apply here the options need to be built into the, the checkout system we don't necessarily want uh, multiple courses on a page when we're just talking about one of those courses etc not as much text on this one uh, which is good but it's also not uniform you know it doesn't have a bonus that's mentioned on here the sign up now is in bold where previously it wasn't in bold uh, we need everything to be consistent as much as possible so that if we put something in bold people know oh we, I need to pay attention but we have as if you if you look here we've got uh, all of this text from here down to here is all in bold so it raises the question what's important well some of it's in green also and some of it's in red what's important is green more important than red or does red mean no stop you can't do this or something bad um, we need to uh, standardize this across all the pages a lot more and kind of go from there mother daughter girlfriend adventure basically the the same thing great opportunity for some pictures here uh, you know, mother daughter shots can uh, where you can you know where you can see it in their faces and see that you know mother and daughter are bonding a little bit or having a great time uh, can be awesome here you know these ladies on on the boat look like they are having a great time but I can't quite see their facial expressions I can see a smile and you know I think they're having fun from a distance but it doesn't feel welcoming because I can't see their facial expressions enough to see you know are they welcoming me to also join them uh, maybe not me in particular I'm, I'm a guy uh, but maybe in welcoming other women to join in this experience that they're having or is it you know am I just looking at some people from a distance they're having a good time and I'm jealous and I can't join so we want the body language but mostly the facial expressions to show up in a great picture here and uh, uh, that will go a long way towards helping with this particular thing If you got multiple pairs of mother daughters or something like that that might be a you know pair everybody off on the boats sitting next to each other or something just a little bit for the shot or two or three pairs something like that might uh, might help significantly to help convey the message that this can be a great thing the LNWS dream team club now we've got an acronym here so Lake Norman women sailors it's not mentioned anywhere else that I've seen um, I would suggest that maybe uh, this should not be an acronym at all it's a little bit of a mouthful uh, N and the W kind of run together and it's not really defined here so you kind of have to think it through and figure it out on your own um, I think this could be a great program and I, I like the fact that it probably brings people back as repeat customers and, and gives them the opportunity to be a repeat customer that's a huge uh, thing especially with an experience uh, based business but this page uh, definitely needs a lot more to boost it up so you know, maybe I'm not exactly sure how you might do that there might be some before and after pictures maybe people when they're you know a little green and they're out there on the boat and then when they're back and they're uh, doing some amazing things maybe even bring some of the, the folks back that have done this for a while and bring them in to help coach on some of the other things and excursions and you talk about that tell them you know their story you might have somebody that you know that shows up all the time say, yeah you know I started myself and I went through the three-hour thing and then I went through the nine-hour thing and I've come back for several of the graduates only programs and and now I'm you know I'm I don't know maybe I'm the first mate or you know maybe you get people some titles or something like that um, 
and I've been helping out on multiple excursions and it's just uh, you know the best thing that I've ever found lots of opportunities there give a gift certificate uh, great idea um, needs to be done in a different way there's lots of different solutions out there to pull this off uh, and not only a gift certificate I think would be a, a is, is a great concept but maybe some discount codes or referral codes or you know tell your friends about it and you know uh, give them 20% off when you refer your friend or something like that or, uh, you know if you share it on Facebook or uh, lots of different uh, possibilities uh, with that if somebody's buying a gift certificate you might even discount the price a little bit or consider doing something to uh, you know give it a little bit more of a promotion because if they're getting you know the thing about gift certificates is you know it's it's cash in the bank up front so that's good for the business people don't always use gift certificates right away and sometimes you know they'll re-gift them or something like that too and they get passed around which isn't necessarily bad because you got cash in the bank early uh, but sometimes they never use them at all so you know the redemption rates of gift certificates might be a question now I'm not suggesting that you should sell gift certificates that are never going to be used but this can be something where you know you accidentally make a little more profit because people might not use them all so it doesn't necessarily hurt to offer some discounts for those gift certificates and and kind of go from there um, but uh, definitely some better ways to display this um, I don't like this picture a whole lot it's Kind of looking down from a strange angle, um, the boat's you know uh, tilted canter just a little bit, uh, which is probably just fine. But you know everybody's bundled up pretty good. Um, doesn't look as much fun as some of the other images. Now this might definitely be part of the experience, uh, but it, this image doesn't necessarily set it up well. You know I'm I'm thinking in my head I'm going to get a, a gift certificate to to uh, uh, the woman in my life maybe and send her out on a boat where it should be cold and uh, on a boat that's not lying flat in the water. <laughs> I'm being a little extra critical. That might have even been close to mean. I apologize. But my point is we don't want to necessarily have an image that uh, conveys the wrong feelings or the emotions or, or what have you. If, you know, if there's going to be, uh, you know, if, you know, cold weather is going to be a part of the factor and it, and it can be out on the water sometimes. And, you know, we want to talk about that, but we don't necessarily want to set that up on the gift certificate page. Uh, you know, that might be what to expect maybe in the about the weather page. Maybe you've got several different pictures, one where you're talking about, you know, bring sunscreen and another where you're talking about, you know, in the winter or the fall or the early spring, you know, be prepared to bundle up if it's windy or chilly out um, or if it's later in the evening, maybe. Uh, so lots of different uh, rain gear, whatever the case may be, but that doesn't necessarily need to be on this particular uh, page. Let's see, then we've got naughty women. Now, as I said that, you know, that's kind of a, uh, the sound of the word naughty uh, can come across as, uh, can have some alternate connotations. And uh, I don't know, that could be funny, that could be intended, might not, let me just point it out just so that, you know, it, it could, uh, might make some jokes and that's great. Uh, might get people talking. Uh, but if that wasn't intended, or at least the alternate uh, sound of that wasn't intended, it might be something that you want to reconsider. Uh, great if you want to go with it and, and play up the joke, and, and, and but then again, uh, uh, if not, maybe not. And I would probably suggest these uh, pictures of knots are great, um, but maybe uh, videos or something a little more, you know, something showing the arrow of you know the direction of the ropes or something like that, or how. Uh, you would uh, do a cleat hitch. We've got the video here uh, to a link. Embed that video on the page. Show them. Don't show them, uh, don't have a grid of images either. Show them one at a time. Start with a simple one and, and build your way up and uh, kind of go from there. And explain why are you talking about knots? You know, is there going to be a knot test? Are they going to get a, you know, a badge for it or something like that as they're going through the process? helps set the expectation here you know what's the importance of these particular knots in terms of this course and class and sailing in general um, and that might uh, help just a little bit maybe you know maybe it's part of what you're being taught um, but a little bit of text here I'd like to see these broken out multiple videos one after the other from least advanced to most advanced 
and explain you know why in the world that's even on the page in the first place uh, the videos and photos page uh, again like the sign up now page when I click it I'm clicking it right now and nothing's happening uh, that needs to be you know it's just a slight uh, uh, setup and, and uh, change or alteration uh, we've got a handful of videos here and uh, some some good videos uh, I like the look of this last one a good sailing wind uh, even better than some of the early ones uh, but these need to be uh, reorganized and reordered and and maybe even more videos need to be uh, added here on a regular basis uh, and uh, that's something to consider but this particular page it needs a, a layout change to help people get engaged the thumbnails might help as well you know uh, uh, we need some text possibly on these images on the uh, thumbnail image or something to help people understand why are they going to click and play this uh, some of these are a little more engaging this one here um, it's not a super clear shot uh, but I can see that uh, you're smiling I can see that you're you know piloting the ship uh, and that one makes this particular image more captivating than the rest. Here we have a person sitting uh, up front. Here we've got someone who's probably smiling. I can almost tell by the, by the cheeks that there's a smile on her face. Uh, but I'd like to be able to see that a little bit better. And uh, that would make this one just a little bit more engaging. A slightly bigger image. Uh, lots of possibility here. This does show that this is a sailboat, unlike the other three images. Unless you've had some experience, you might not necessarily recognize that these are images of a sailboat, uh, especially if you're not familiar with it. In this one, you, you, can, you can kind of see uh, the, the sail and the, and the image itself, so I think that's good for other reasons as well. But lots of opportunities to, to improve these, and the great thing about YouTube videos is you can add a custom thumbnail to any of these, even after they've been published. You can change them, and you can increase the chances that someone will watch that video, click it, and then really... Uh, get the feel that you're hoping they'll get. The Dream Team Sunset. Now, we've got some thumbnail images. Um, a friend of mine, Jamie, had also uh, critiqued the site. Um, this image gallery uh, is nice and would have been great a few years ago, uh, but it really need, leaves something to uh, be desired these days, especially on a smartphone, because they click to this page and then they have to click uh, each image to load each individual image and once they do we get an image title like img0036 not really describing what's going on uh, they click it again and then they get the full image this is what I want to see on that first page and I will see this at the top and, and I want to be able to scroll through it and see another one right below it and repeat that for all of these maybe it's not quite that big maybe a little smaller and if I click it it expands and gets bigger but we really want to see these images that much more we want to see smiles we want to see groups of people if possible we want to, we want to see people that aren't cut off so we want to see everybody in the in the frame as much as possible we don't want a half a head um, in there so we want to pick and choose which images go in here this is not a bad image and it might even get cropped down such that uh, the lady on the left here is is not visible but we don't want to cut people off in mid image that's you know sometimes the way it goes uh, with luck of the photo but when it comes to displaying them on our website we don't want that if this was on Facebook it might be fine if somebody's posting their own casual image or something like that so their friends could tag each other fine no problem uh, but when it's on our website where we're trying to convey uh, you know all sorts of different things we want people to to be able to see everything we have a little bit of a slider going down here uh, it's not a bad slider but the image quality on some of these images is a little low and as I'm looking at it, there are little pixelated, some great pictures, but uh, for 2015, these need to be updated and replaced with some higher quality images. And uh, probably should be at the top, not the bottom as well. Now, under the About Us section, we've got all this other information uh, down here. Um, that's nice. I can't actually click on an About Us page, uh, so I have to then go choose through these different things. I would like there to be an actual about us page for the company now there's a sailing instructor bio that's important and we should have that but there should be an about us page for the company as well I suspect that 
Uh, Karen is the company to a certain extent, uh, but we need to delineate that and, and we need to spell that out on an About Us page. People want to know who they're doing business with. If uh, Karen can kind of be like the front person of the band, the lead singer, uh, if you will, and everything could be built around her, uh, which would be fine. You might even you know, call her the skipper or the captain or something like that and kind of work it into uh, some sort of name and brand it off a little bit on Twitter. Lots of different possibilities there. Um, but uh, uh, this needs to either be one way or another. It needs to be the company page and a sailing instructor page, or they all need to be put in together. And again, we've got too much bold text in here. We've got a lot of text. This would be a great place for some sort of quick introduction video where uh, Karen's on, you know, on camera, maybe standing in the boat, and basically telling us about her background. Uh, and some of uh, her experience and what led her to do this and the experiences she's had guiding people through this whole process. Um, and then people can read through the bullet points as they, as they like and, and things like that later. Um, but there's a great opportunity here to help introduce people to Karen, the person that they're going to be learning from in person later and developing probably a personal relationship to a certain extent, you know, as they're out on the water. So let them get introduced to her, get comfortable with her uh, right up front in a video, great way to do it, and also convey all this information and reduce the text on this page uh, a good deal. Lots of uh, press coverage, uh, which is great. I'm not sure I would put it right here. There's possibly some other ways to display this and list this information. Directions, uh, this should be on the home page. Uh, this little map should be on the home page or even a better map possibly. Uh, there should be directions on how to get here coming off of any of the, the close uh, interstates, you know, 85 South, 85 North, 77, uh, you know, might need six or seven different ways to get there from the different interstates, the loops, etc. Uh, list those in here, but also put this map uh, on the home page. And, and make this easier, much easier to find. And then the free window hanger. Um, I'm not so sure that this is all that necessary. You can give them, I'm not sure this needs to be on the website. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but uh, uh, I think there's, uh, we're trying to get people to come in and sign up or get a gift certificate in general and get comfortable with the whole idea and pick their package. Uh, let's not distract them with a freebie before they've ever even participated. And uh, uh, not to mention collecting all this information. I would nix this whole page altogether and probably this whole item here itself from the website. Um, so that pretty much covers all the pages on the site. High level thing. The site needs a new theme and it needs to be mobile responsive. Doing that and putting uh, organizing the information into a mobile responsive theme is going to solve probably 60 to 70 percent of the issues on here. Second thing, the site needs to be converted into a, a much stronger and capable e-commerce system through WordPress. There are some great ones out there that can be built on and uh, that can help take this business to another level as well in a bunch of different ways. I'd highly recommend that. That will then solve most of the problems that we see on the Sign Up Now pages and the gift certificate page and increase the chances of people actually converting online or if you're bringing them in from uh, Google Ads or Groupon or something like that too, getting, you know, giving people that, that good first impression as they kind of do their due diligence of, is this a website I can trust? And if it's you know, streamlined and easy to use, that increases their trust level. I would mention one last thing as I wrap this up. Might have been something I should have mentioned first, but it's the speed of the website. And do a quick speed test in this review review we want this website to run very 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 fast because it's important that it loads well on mobile devices we not only want a mobile responsive theme that shows them something that looks good on a mobile device but we want this to light up and run quickly such that it loads you know with within two to three seconds max on a mobile phone that's not easy to do uh, a theme can help if you get the right theme, but a big part of that is going to be finding the right hosting plan, the right hosting company that focuses on the speed. 
Now, any individual can go out and do a, a great deal of work, and when I say great deal of work, I mean hours, if not days, if not weeks of work to optimize their site to load quickly, but that can be a whole lot of work. Now, right now, the site, when it first loads for your average person, it's going to take 4.7 seconds to load. If they load it again, it's going to load a little faster because their browser, uh, their device is going to retain some of the images that was used to generate that page, like the logo and colors and stuff like that. So it will be faster the second time. But four to five seconds is too slow for 2015. In fact, uh, Google and search engine rankings will penalize you to a certain extent uh, if it's over three, if you have competitors. Now, in this case, you may not necessarily have competitors in search engine results. Uh, so that may not be such an issue, but people are looking for an experience. They may not be real picky or choosy about whether or not they want to come learn how to sail or go run an obstacle course race or go to a place where maybe they're you know, uh, painting and sipping wine or a number of different things. So it's not so much competing with potential other businesses just like this, but you're competing with all of those other sites and businesses that offer up a great experience. And if your site doesn't perform as well or to the level that they, you know, someone may have an expectation that it should as they've visited other places, they may not necessarily pull the trigger and choose to, to do business here. So there's some opportunities to speed things up. But I point out too that after the site is converted into a mobile responsive theme, the images, it will it'll have a lot more images and we'll need those images to get those across. All those recommendations I had for putting larger images, larger sized images uh, on the site are going to put more of a strain on the server. Right now the site is text driven for the most part and that does help it load faster but it, it's not getting the message across. So it's loading fast enough for people to see it and then it gives them an impression that's less than stellar. We need them to uh, have something that loads very fast and gives them a good first impression and it's possible that this may this site may need to move to a different host one that's capable of delivering up an image intensive site that's giving all the right uh, signals and feelings and emotions and really conveying the energy of the site and how cool it could be to come in and have this uh, experience and uh, walk away with this new you know life skill uh, maybe even you know a, a change in view so that's what we have. And that's been my uh, quick, approximately 30-minute review of Lake Norman Women Sailors. Uh, if you've got any questions or would like to uh, take a look at uh, some more opportunities or ways to help improve the site, reach out to me at softdoit.com or via email. Uh, if you are coming to the site and you've got your own website that you would like to have reviewed, I'd be more than happy to talk with you and uh, arrange something I do site reviews for free. I only do a limited few each month, um, but uh, I do these for free for 30 minutes. And uh, from there, I also offer uh, WordPress web development and coaching uh, services in case uh, you want to do some of the work yourself. Uh, those services uh, do come at a charge. I do this for a living and be happy to help any way uh, that I can. And wish you the best and hope you enjoy this video. And even if uh, you're not in the area or looking at hopefully you've learned something about some ways or some ideas some brainstorming ideas to uh, boost up your own website uh, in the future thank you much